So I'm just going to carry on with uh, the new modeling tools in Cinema 4D version 15. I'm just going to create a cube, make it editable, and select some edges on this cube. Right click bevel, like that. So uh, something I left out in part one is basically um, when you choose shape user to define this curve here manually, um, the symmetry option is set by default. So if you uncheck this, only then are you going to get this kind of full curve. Otherwise it's basically dividing this into two and then flipping it over. So just make sure you uncheck symmetry if you want to use this kind of full curve and add more subdivisions to get the full detail. Uh, a problem is though, it will basically go over the line limits like this. And um, also, I'm just going to go back to rounding. You can actually control and just select one of these edges to get this kind of lopsided uh, bevel. It basically just adjusts the point you select. So if I hold down control and select this point, I'm only adjusting this edge. So some really uh, powerful control over the bevel tool. Next, I'm just going to quickly show you uh, with the bevel tool some of the further options. So I've selected these edges on the bottom of this kind of simple cube object. I'm going to right click, go to bevel. And uh, I'm going to look at this ending option here. So if I uh, give this some bevel initially like that, we get this type of shape. If I select ending and choose extend, it's going to change the topology. So now it's basically smoothly blending into this kind of sharp uh, end of the cube. And if I choose inset, uh, we basically get this kind of sharp finish. It's basically stopping dead uh, the bevel operation right here, which can be quite useful for like building kind of columns and architectural objects. And now because I clicked away, this bevel is basically committed to this object. Uh, next, I want to show you the slide tool, which is kind of little known. Not many people use it, but it's a powerful addition to the new features in Cinema 4D version 15. So I'm just going to go into edge mode with my wall selected. And by default, I've got this loop selection uh, snapped to my uh, palette because I find it really useful. But you can go to select and choose loop selection. And that basically chooses like entire loops. So like... Uh, if I select this corner here, it selected all the edges. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to slide. And now I can basically slide this corner. And the difference is it, it basically tries to kind of stay true to the original geometry. If I was to just go to line mode and move it manually, um, we kind of, we get this contracting and compression in this area here but with the slide tool it's basically keeping this width constant and another really cool uh, option is if I check clone here it basically creates like another uh, cross section so I can just control slide this and it's basically creating more uh, kind of sections and we've got limit in this option as well so here I can go beyond the limits but if I check limits then it kind of it can't leave this geometry and we've got different offsets modes like proportional just changes the algorithm slightly so you can see it's kind of morphing from this uh, loop to the end kind of loop so that's a very basic introduction to the edge slide tool and um, that brings us to the end of the modeling changes in Cinema 4D version 15 and uh, thanks for watching.